my dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ peace of our Lord be with us all we are celebrating the feast of Christ the King Jesus Christ the King of each one of us or this feast day is remember us embracing the authority of Christ as King and the Lord of the universe this feast help us to look into our future the future of God's second coming where we all will undergo the judgment of our Lord the feast help us to remember and to control our daily life that Christ should reign our life our wills our mind and our freedom of living the nature of Jesus kingship is revealed in the words of Saint Matthew chapter 20 verses 26 Jesus kingship is understood in the service and his humility Jesus asked us whoever wants to be great in their life must be your servant whoever wants to be first among you must be your servant of all because the son of man did not come to be served but to serve and to become the ransom for many when we look into the titles of God's kingdom it must be understood in different ways first of all Jesus the, the nature the title of God's kingdom it is Christ as God he is the creator of this universe secondly Christ is the Redeemer Jesus has paid his life for the ransom of humanity thirdly Jesus Christ is the head of the church Jesus wanted to continue his ministry of saving the humanity thereby he instituted the church and he remained as the head of the church finally we understand that God has bestowed upon Christ all the authority and the possession of the universe this is the title of God's kingdom when we look into the qualities of Christ's kingdom we understand that first of all God's kingdom it is the supreme because he has the power over all the peoples of this world and not only over the people and also all the princes and kings of this world secondly it is universal God's kingdom covers this entire universe because he is the creator as well thirdly we understood the uh, God's kingdom it is eternal and finally we understand that God's kingdom is spiritual because God himself clearly explained the nature of God's kingdom the Gospel of St. John verses 36 Jesus speaks he narrates that my kingdom is not of this world if my kingdom were of this world my servant would be fighting to keep me from being handed over to the Jews but as it is my kingdom is not from here Jesus speaks about the spiritual nature of the kingdom of God and he is the king of our uh, God's kingdom then Jesus explains to explains us who are wants to be the members of the kingdom of God they have they are asked to search for God's kingdom at first and its righteousness who would surpass the God's kingdom the book of Revelation chapter 17 verses 14 
we read they would make war over the lamb but the lamb would conquer them for he is the lord of lords and king of kings for he is lord of lords and king of kings and those who are with him are the are called chosen and faithful so my dear brethren as we are the chosen people let us be faithful to god's commandments and enter into god's kingdom my dear brethren now let us proclaim our faith in our lord our master and proudly say jesus is my king let us keep and subdue all our faith in our master and let us receive the reward of the kingdom of god let us try to bring the kingdom of god in this world itself where jesus rule this world while while we are sharing the love of our master and gathering all the humanity under god's love while sharing our mutual love may god bless each one of us may the grace of our lord jesus christ love of god the father and the fellowship of the holy spirit be with us all now always and forever amen